Hi guys, welcome back to Little Piece of Heaven Farm. I'm Cheryl, and today we're going to start um, our second recipe, and we're going to make pasta. And I'm excited. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to add in our sand mixer, I mean, you can do this by hand, too, if you'd like. Me, I have a stamp mixer. I'm going to use it. Okay, so we're going to put in three cups of flour. And I'm using bread flour. You could use all purpose if you'd like. Or any type of flours that you do. To make pasta. So I'm going to add three cups in here. I'm going to have to get a little container for this. It's kind of hard to get it out. There's two. And three. Okay, put that aside. And we're going to put in three eggs. I take that back. First off, we're going to put in a cup of our. Uh, Friendship bread starter. And then we're going to add our three eggs once we start mixing. all that starter out, all that extra goodness. And by why it's mixing, we're going to add one egg at a time, okay? We're going to let that mix, and so let me bring you a little closer. Excuse the noise, maybe Farron could get that bit quiet. See how it's starting to come together? We're going to let that all come together until all the dough is mixed in, okay? And I'll bring you back. So we're gonna turn on our dough.
and I'm gonna put a little bit on my board here. It came together really nice. Okay, we're gonna wrap this up in plastic and let it sit for about an hour or so. Okay. Here we go. We're gonna let that sit and I'll bring you back to the next step. <laughs> okay guys, I think I gave you uh, some wrong information on making the pasta. I had to add an extra egg. So it's one cup of starter, four eggs, to three cups of flour, okay? And you mix that up and to your dough ball. And then now we let it sit and rest for an hour or two, and then we'll come back and we'll make pasta. Stay tuned. Okay guys, it's been a couple hours and we're gonna get our dough ready. It's rusted now. So, what I'm going to try to do is get this into a log shape because I have a new attachment for the KitchenAid. And it's a pasta maker, but it's not your traditional type of pasta maker. It's a newer one I think KitchenAid has. And let's get that on the machine. Okay. Okay guys, this is our pasta maker. It makes the shells and, and things. It does make spaghetti noodles, and, and that's what we have first off. So, we're going to make little dough balls here. And we're going to stick it down into our little hole. And we're going to turn it on.
It's kind of warm. It's kind of warm coming out. They're kind of warm when they come out. Let's try a different dye and see what we get. These are small macaronis. So this would be, <laughs> you would have to like take them apart. Like I said, they are warm when they come out. Okay, we're gonna make a large macaroni. Rigatoni now. Okay, this is what I'm making next.
Okay, the next one is Fucini. I think that's how you pronounce it. Okay guys, I put up all six of the dies and uh, there is a special tool that came with the unit to clean out all the little holes and nooks and crannies in the dies. So I'll have to do that here soon. But these are the different, six different noodles that you can make with this, which I think is pretty cool. And it takes, what I found out, it takes about three days for the noodles to dry out. And to help it, you can put a little fan on them, an oscillating fan, so they have a dry area. And you can prepare them for dinner tonight, like, it'll take three to five minutes to cook these in boiling water. They have to be right into boiling water. And then we can use them. Or you can freeze them. Pop this whole tray in the freezer and freeze it. And then pull them out and put them in their bags. And then to use those frozen, you pop them right into directly in hot boiling water. You don't thaw them out. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to dry these and uh, start from there. So guys, this is what I'm doing right now, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye now.